Hi guys, it's Nick. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because today I am here at Ikea. I am checking out their holiday 2020. So I'm really excited you guys for my holiday decorations this year because I kind of have a vision for something that's really modern, maybe a little bit edgy, uh, something that uses a lot of whites and neutrals, maybe even a little bit of black, a little bit of blue. I haven't decided yet. Um, and I'm so excited because I'm taking you guys shopping with me this year. Uh, so I plan on this being kind of a three part series where at first I go to Ikea, which where I am right now. And then I plan on going to CB2 West Elm and Crate and Barrel, uh, which is going to be in the next video. And then I'm going to do a video where I reveal my modern holiday decor for you guys so you guys can decorate with me and see what I do and hopefully maybe gain some inspiration for your holiday decor for this year. Let's take a look at what IKEA has in store for holiday 2020. Okay, so the first thing that I see when I walk into Ikea is I've got this beautiful dining room table. I really love that they went with a really muted color palette. It doesn't scream Christmas. This is more of, I would say, just a kind of neutral holiday uh, tablescape. And I overall think that this is really, really beautiful. I love sort of those light pink colors, sort of just kind of really muted tones. I think it works really, really well. Okay, so the first room that I love is this one here. It's like got a very traditional color scheme, kind of uses a lot of red and gold. Um, I overall just really love this room. It kind of feels like it's got this beautiful cabin sort of vibe to it, which I really enjoy. But as we move into the living room, you can really start to see it very much has this traditional Christmas uh, look, which I think is really beautiful. Um, I love kind of using red throws and pillows to sort of really just kind of change out uh, your typical decor to make it feel very Christmassy and very holiday. I love those little cloth ornaments that you see here. I'm going to come back to those because those are really beautiful. Uh, looks like it's like two of those really kind of natural looking ones and this beautiful red and gold tree. I'm kind of looking for a gold and silver vibe for myself. Oh my gosh. And then I saw this beautiful wreath that I just kind of really fell in love with and I need to find that later on in the shop because I can't see it here. Um, these natural ornaments I think work really well with that wreath and just sort of just feel really cozy and warm and just very neutral and I really like that. I love this silver and gold tree. This is definitely more of the vibe that I'm really looking for. And I kind of also fell in love with these really simple icicles, just kind of those spiral icicles. I need to find those later. Um, and then, oh, you've got this like little Christmas village. I find Christmas villages sometimes can be a little bit intricate and a little bit juvenile, if I'm being honest, but this one looks really classy and just really sort of beautiful and simple and just plain white with these little simple trees, as well as more lights glittering in the background there. Ikea also has these light up stars. I've seen these in years prior. I think they make such a great statement and so, so cheap. Like what are these, $6.99, $7.99? Really gorgeous, just really sort of light up your space. They've got all these different um, cookie cutters that are in different Christmas and wintry shapes, which is really neat. Um, and then I see, I think this is a candy dish it looks like, but they've just filled these with beads and baubles. And I think that's a really great decor idea. You can just always take these little glass vessels that you see and just fill them with baubles or lights. And I just think it's a really simple and cost-effective way to make something feel really Christmassy. Over here, we've got more of a New Year's look. I love this gold and silver metallic vibe. So you've got, again, you're using baubles and different tea light holders and things to just add a little bit of glitter uh, onto the tablescape, which is really neat. And they've really extended that into this kind of side panel over here. Um, just really cool. And I love that they took these little, looks like champagne saucers, it looks like, and then they filled them with different beads to just sort of really feel uh, New Year's. I really love this sort of black 
tiered platter. I think it looks really cool. They've just filled it with baubles, but overall I think that looks really nice. I want to see if I can find that later downstairs. Uh, this red and gold tablescape looks really cool. Um, it's just got, again, those paper chandeliers above, but they've got some that are a little red, um, which kind of works really well with the table that they've designed here. Red and gold looks like it's a color that they're color palette that they're really going for here. So there's lots of options if you like that uh, for your Christmas decor. Okay, so that's enough inspiration and let's head downstairs and see what they've got. First up, as soon as you go downstairs is this Christmas mold. I'm not, I'm not sure it's, well, it's definitely not wine at $3.99, but it's mulling spices drink. I mean, I would add booze to that. I don't know about you, but that I've never tried it before, but you know, at four bucks, maybe give it a go. Then you've got these candles after this woman tries to hit me with a shopping cart. And then with these candles, I mean, look at these, they're $2. Like it's just so easy to add a little bit of festive red and white into your space for like so cheap. And just candles, I always think candles and lights are just such a really easy way to add a little bit of holiday to your space. Here's some of the kitchen stuff that we talked about. So they've got lots of different cookie cutters and things in Christmas shapes. Looks like they've got some kids' aprons here. Um, I don't have kids, but you know, if you do, maybe that'll work for you. And of course, your kids can also apparently match your cup holders, which I think are really cool for Christmas baking. Over here, we've got these candy dishes that we saw upstairs in the Ikea kitchen section. Again, they fill these with baubles, but I think it's really meant for chocolates and candies and things like that. They have these gold and silver trays. This is not a Christmas specific, but they seem to uh, think that this is going to be really good for Christmas. And I tend to agree because just adding metallic just gives a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of glam to your uh, Christmas look. It just feels very Christmassy to me to add some silver and some gold. Here they've added it for a little bit of a New Year's theme. Now I've also really fell in love with these glasses. I came so close to picking up uh, four of these because I just thought these are really cool and kind of unexpected for Ikea. They're not, again, I think they are for holiday, uh, but I just thought they were really cool and just had a nice little texture to them. Also, these ones are similar. They kind of have a bit of a shimmer because they're, um, because they've kind of got this uh, interesting sort of shape uh, to it. I think it looks really cool. And I, can I just also say that I really feel like Ikea has really upped their glass game in the last uh, three to five years. Okay, and now the blanket section, uh, just so easy to add a throw to your space to make it a little bit more wintry, a little bit more cozy. I don't know about you, but I'm really attracted to these neutrals. I seem more and more attracted to neutrals lately, like this kind of light cream color. I'm really enjoying it. They've also got these beautiful pillows that you want. They're a little bit Christmassy on the nose for me, but I think if you're looking for something that's very wintry themed, um, then these look really cool. So Ikea always does a really great job with things like wrapping paper and gift tags and things like that. I don't always think to come to Ikea for those sorts of things, but they just do a really great job. Okay, now Christmas lights. I really love twinkly lights. I think lights and candles are just such a really easy way to sort of make your space feel really Christmassy and really wintry. And by the way, I have waited for those uh, twinkly lights to put onto my balcony for months. They have been sold out at Ikea, but they have all these little tiny lights here. How cute are these with these little tiny Santas on? I just think they're really, really cool and really cute. I just think it's a really simple decorative idea just to put some uh, glittery lights or those little cute little Santas inside a glass jar, uh, just to make the space feel really Christmassy and really beautiful. It just has a little bit of light. It's just really important for those dark days of winter. Okay, now we've arrived at the rug section. I've really fallen in love with these white uh, wool rugs. Um, I'm thinking that these are what I'm gonna use for under my Christmas tree. I just think they add just a really interesting, cool texture to it. 
I love that it's really light and neutral and just really warm and comforting. I don't think it's a Christmas specific item, uh, but it's just overall a beautiful item that I think will look great for Christmas. Ikea's got lots of different tiny little trees and little shrubs and poinsettias. Um, sometimes I find that their uh, wreaths and stuff is, kind of feels very plasticky and a little bit fake, uh, but they have other kind of different options as well, which I think is great. Um, tea holders, candles, such a great way just to add little decor pieces around your home. And this section is really not super Christmassy, but it is to me, because again, these glass holders, different vases, um, just so great to fill with candles or lights, just to really add a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of warmth around your place. Just perfect for Christmas. I'm sure this is common knowledge, but uh, tea lights are some of the best value I think that you can find, I would say, outside of a dollar store. I think Ikea does a really great job with these. Just candles in general are just so cost effective compared to going to other places. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here with this section, so bear with me, but it's a lot of the stuff that we saw upstairs down here. So we've got these three little Christmas trees, which I think are so cute, so sparkly, just kind of really kind of help that little Christmas scene that you maybe want to create. But again, it's like this classy Christmas village, uh, which we saw upstairs. And here's that little tea light holder, uh, which I think would be perfect next to those little trees like we saw upstairs. But there's also other options. There's all these different lanterns and stuff that you can use uh, to fill up with tea lights, candles, uh, with lights, all those sorts of things. Okay, now we've arrived at the Christmas bubble section. So this the, I just couldn't believe how many options they had. So whether you're looking for like the red, gold, silver, uh, they have lots of different options in terms of just buying these multi-packs of different baubles. They've also got different specialized ones that are just like a little bit more unique, a little bit more interesting. You've got some little candles, some snowmen, um, you see a little polar bear with skis. I mean, that's adorable. So lots of different options there. I also think bells are a really classic uh, thing to put on your tree. I have little white bells at home. I also really love these little white discs with this cute little gold pattern on it, as well as these little clear baubles. I think this silver gold uh, bauble here is probably gonna look really good on my tree, so I'll probably pick up a pack of these as well. So there are those neutral baubles that we saw upstairs. I'm really glad that I found them. If to be honest, I'm a little disappointed that it's a multi-pack because I probably don't need the red and green. I'd probably be much more likely just to keep those two natural woven materials, but oh well, you can't have everything. I've picked up a few packs of these from my tree. I just think glass just gives a little bit of sparkle because it just reflects the light, uh, especially because they got that twist design. So it's just really nice to kind of add a little bit of sparkle without adding a new color onto your tree. And here's this wreath that I found that I was so excited to see upstairs. Definitely picking this up. Feels very Scandinavian, very neutral. Um, and then, oh my gosh, so then I found this tree which is like four baskets that all stack into each other, which is great for storage, by the way. Because um, that's the thing with Christmas, right? Like, how do you store it for the rest of the year? It's so annoying to store it for 11 months. But I just thought that tree looked really cool. It stacks. It just feels very Scandinavian. Lots of different bauble um, wreaths. So if you don't want to go the traditional, because again, I do find Ikea's got a little bit plasticky on their wreaths, but I do find that their baubles look really cool. But it's really, you know, high on the sparkle. So it's kind of a commitment to that color scheme. So Ikea has lots of different artificial trees. They tend to be a little bit more on the kind of sparse, I think Scandinavian. I'm gonna maybe look at it like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree sort of vibe. I like mine a little bit more full, but I think um, these are also really cute. And I feel like these are a little bit trendy, like a lot of people seem to be uh, liking these sort of sparse Christmas trees, as opposed to kind of your traditional, uh, more big full tree. Okay, Ikea also has lots of gift wrap um, and different bags. I'm not gonna lie, if you guys are interested in anything you see here, I'd head to Ikea pretty quick because a lot of it was sold out when I went. Um, they've got these really, really neat, sort of like, it kind of looks like a, 
little envelope and then you can just stick your little presents in there and um, I think it looks really cool. It's like not your typical. It's also just really easy because you know gift dropping a lot of presents can be really time consuming uh, so it's kind of nice that you can just kind of throw some small items in there and there you go it's wrapped. Also I do love that these are kind of a different spin on um, different gift bags. Uh, it's more like a sandwich bag, like kind of reminds me of a lunch bag. And then there's these burlap sacks uh, that you can basically tie off. And I think those look really cool too. Again, those were sold out by the time I got here. It's only November, but these are already sold out. Uh, but they have lots of different types of different ribbon, not just kind of your typical kind of red and white ribbon, but they've got lots of different ones that are kind of woven together with different uh, fabrics. I love these neutrals. Again, guys, I'm really attracted to these neutrals these days, but sort of having this uh, just basic twine I think would look really cool um, just around a really simple wrapping paper. Also found these so cute little uh, light boxes that you can either put under your tree or make up a little display. That Santa I think is the exact same Santa as we saw in those little tiny twinkly lights back in the lighting section. Um, but I thought, and these are so cost effective, like they have such a big presence for such a little, like so little money. Like it's like $15 to $30 for some of these little items, um, which I just think is really, really nice for, you know, to have an option where you can, because Christmas decorations can get really expensive, especially if you are... Uh, try to decorate your whole house. So these are just a really cost-effective way to add a lot of presents for not a lot of money. Also, you can see that they don't just have the Santa. They have lots of different other ones. Like I'm seeing these ones here are little Christmas trees. These ones are little snowflakes. And these are really, really cute. Just string around your house. Cute little Santa plate for Christmas cookies. Um, again, this is a little bit more tr like Christmas traditional for me, uh, for my liking, but overall I can't deny that it's pretty cute. And then you've got these lanterns that I feel like Ikea does a lot, but this one in bright red. And of course I have to grab some uh, dime bars before I head out. I hope you really enjoyed that tour of Ikea. I've got some really great items, but I'm going to make you wait until the third video in this series because that's where I can tour you through my apartment and see what I did. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.